<laughs> what can we do for you, Ken? Okay, I'm president of a homeowners association, and my, and we want to terminate the, the company we have now, the management company, and get another management company. Personally, do you know Sylvia? <laughs> no, I don't. Good. Okay. <laughs> well, uh, and, how, and how my many question, you? My, quest, my question is, is how much notice do we have to give them? 30 days? They're like requiring us to give them 60 days. Okay. Um, how many you units? Know, we, are, how many units in the building? There's 89 homes here. Okay, 89 homes. These are separate uh, single-family residents. Right. It, 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 right. It's the homeowners association. Now, right. Okay. When you entered into a an agreement, this board or some other board, do you have a written agreement with them? It, it, we did that like six years ago, but what we and it, and it goes year to year, but we've never signed another contract within the last six years. Okay, so the agreement ran out. That's correct. All right. Uh, you give them, you, it, assuming there is no written agreement because it ran out, then you give them reasonable notice that you no longer want them to be your management company, and they're out of there. You have a board of directors meeting. You indicate that uh, the services are no longer uh, required. You give them written notice, and I would say two weeks to 30 days is probably I, appropriate. I, I, the first thing I would do is make sure that uh, that if they're, taking care of your money and stuff that you get uh, control of those bank accounts and all those other things which they're that's very doing wise. for you. That's very wise. Um, you know, I, I take a quick run through the, uh, the bylaws too to make sure. It, this sounds like the kind of thing that the board of directors can do without any other oh, vote sure of the they membership. Can. I'm sure they can. It's, it sounds like yeah. that, but take a quick run through the bylaws to make sure that you have the power and the authority to enter into agreements and also exit from and agreements. And look at that contract again to make sure uh, that there's not a 10 or 20 or 50 or 60 day uh, termination clause, but if it was year to year and it ran out, uh, don't you have a condo lawyer too that's involved? Well, the lawyer is just somebody we use through them. You know that we. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, right. them, don't, we don't, don't, you know, you know not to go there. Th there's a big conflict of interest. You know, if you're talking about 89 units, and are you paying them what four to six percent of the take or what? No, we we, we pay them a fee. It's roughly. Uh, uh, our dues are 178 a month, 89 homes. We pay them up roughly about 2,000 to 2,200 a month for all the services. Okay, well, you know, it's a lot of money. That's 25, you know, 25 to 27 thousand dollars a year. Right. Uh, it might be worth uh, an hour consultation on a lawyer to look at it to make sure that the time that you're doing is appropriate. Uh, what what area is the condo location in? This is in Harbor City, the city of Los Angeles. Okay, I know Harbor City well. Um, um, yeah, I, pull the written contract. Look at. Do you have a referral for something like that? Or I'm sorry. Do you have a referral for an attorney yeah, that I could talk Long, to? Yeah, Long Beach Bar Association. Uh, you're in, you're pretty close to Long Beach. Or what about Torrance Bar Association? Yeah, Torrance, Torrence 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 they got great lawyers yeah, in both either, both communities. Either one of those, but get yourself an hour consultation to make sure you do it right, and then and then. Make sure you have control of the various funds. Where are they? Are they are holding your money too? Well, they, they have half of our. We we control half of our funds, and they they have control of the other half. But it sounds like a wife. <laughs> no, 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 no. That would be a hundred percent and zero percent. It's been worse than a wife. That's why we're getting a divorce now. <laughs> That's why they're going to be called an ex ex wife. Okay. Well, make sure I go see the lawyer. There may be some steps that the lawyer will tell you to take to protect the money. Sounds like you got a bank account. You may have some other things. You may have some other insurance, et cetera. Uh, so I would go see a lawyer on this one. Okay. Okay. And, and, like you say, any association can refer, like you say, somebody for me that handles this type of thing. Right. Yeah. Torrance Bar Association, someone that does condominium work, Long Beach Bar Association, even the LA County Bar Association, uh, they've got lawyers in the in the Harbor City area. And then if you run a file and can't find anybody else, call us at the 800 number and we'll try and get you to somebody. Okay? Yeah, just to put a bow on this, it sounds very much like you can do exactly what you want to do and probably within the time frame that you want to do it, but it's a good idea to run it through through an attorney just to make sure that you're doing it exactly the right way. Well, But I'm, I'm even more concerned than that. They've got your money. Oh, yeah. So I would oh, yeah, make sure absolutely. That, that, you, 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 that they don't give you a big kiss and, and you have to fight over your own money. So yeah, yeah, we. That's one of the problems. We we have a treasurer that they're supposed to okay it before they pay bills, and they've been paying bills without getting the treasurer's okay. All right. Well, an issue. 
You know, you're, you're making you're a great them. decision. I'd get rid of them, but let's make sure that you get rid of them the right way. So I'll get, I'll get an attorney then. It'd be well worth it. Okay, okay. great. Ken, thank you very much for months. calling Legal Help Live.